Hey everyone, so I'm back. <laughs> I'm back with just a quick reading for you guys today. So, um, the healing intentions, as per the usual, are always set, you guys. Always, always, always. So if you want them, go ahead and breathe them in and to create for your highest and greatest good. All right, so, you know, I'm human, just like all the rest of the world. And, um, you know, I have an ego, right? Just like everybody else, my ego will get in there and kind of poke at me sometimes. And, you know, that's when I that's when I go within or I do some form of spiritual practice to bring myself to a place of, of um, you know, stepping outside of that ego that wants to tell me all of these stories that don't serve me and getting me back to that place of being centered. Well, you know, when it comes to everything that we're going through right now and everything that we're seeing the world over and all of the information that we're being given you guys I mean it's it can, it can be a bit much right and that's why I pull back from I personally pull back from watching a lot of truthers I don't like to do that I like to get my information really from source and my highest self. I like to be taught from my spiritual team, enlightened that way. Um, there's just so much BS out there. And, you know, as we always get disinformation. But I'll tell you, if you could talk to my spiritual team as they've enlightened me, they would probably tell you that I drive them crazy. Because... <laughs> I'll always come back after having learned something and I'll say, are you sure? Like, is this really happening? Um, that's my ego, right? Because I am human and we have egos. So last night was one of those things. I was, I was um, having that egotistical moment. I, are you really sure that we're actually getting to a place where we're breaking the chains? Um that have bound humanity and enslaved us for all this time, that we're actually breaking those chains and we're getting ready to move into something that's much more fair and that works for humanity that much more like, you know, is that really true? <laughs> Just me being in that headspace, right? And I was contemplating that over and over and over again. And I know what I'm seeing. I know what I'm seeing. Um, and I know what I'm feeling and I know what my, my team has been teaching me and I know why they've been teaching me the things that they've been teaching me throughout my life. Cause it seems like, you know, they were getting me ready for being in this place that we are today. I know what we're getting for information via the cards and stuff, you know, but like I said, I'm human. I have, I have human thoughts. So I, I was feeling I was, I was feeling a little egotistical and, and I decided that I was going to breathe and center myself and it was late and I was tired. So rather than going down and, and, um, spending a long time, uh, doing some of the other things that I do to get myself to a place of getting messages and relaxing, I thought a quick way would be to pull some cards on it to, you know, and just to get my information that way quickly and that way I could get into my bed and I could um I could do my healing, my self healing and my and my earth healing that I like to do every night. So I pulled some cards and I was pretty excited about what I saw. <laughs> so yeah, I, I went about the business of having the discussion with my guides. Are you sure this is really happening? Um, yeah, this is really happening, you guys, and it's happening fast. Okay, so again, uh, we're being told that this is karmic. It's time to break those chains, right, and put that devil back on the bottom because those chains that have been binding humanity, it's, it's just their time is over. This is karmic. So here I am talking about, are you sure we're breaking the chains that have been binding humanity and enslaving us? And the first card up representing the question is the wheel of fortune, which would be yes, showing me very clearly how the devil's being put back on the bottom. 
so that people can be sovereign again, so that we can be sovereign individuals and not enslaved, because that's what she is. She's, she's sovereign. So across from the Wheel of Fortune, check out these higher arcana cards, right? They were probably like, Lori, enough is enough. <laughs> you ask this all the time. Um, so across from the Wheel of Fortune, we have temperance. Lori, be patient, <laughs> right? A little more patience, great changes happening. We have miracles occurring right above that. And, you know, that's our 17 card, okay? So then dry, the energy driving this, you know, as I ask this question, are we really breaking those chains? We have some fast moving energy, you guys. This is my quick, quick moving card. So we have fast moving energy driving, driving this reading, which means to show me the answer of the question, something's happening fast, right? So we have some fast moving energy bringing things in that we're not even noticing apparently, or I'm not taking notice of because I was the one pestering last night, right? So, um, there's things being brought in that I'm not even noticing that, you know, they're asking me to like kind of look up and pay attention and to have some faith, right? That, you know, we're moving into a higher frequency with that fool. Have some faith, stay grounded, stay well grounded so that I don't get into that place of ego, right? So, you know, if I'm well grounded and I'm well connected, my ego doesn't take me on these, you know, head trips that it was trying to do last night, which made me, you know, um, start questioning everything that I know, have seen and feel to be real. And listen, we're human, we all do that. And that's why I'm sharing this with you today, because we all do that. So, you know, it's part of our human experience, you guys. It doesn't make us bad, doesn't make us negative Nancys. It doesn't make us, um, you know, succumb into fear porn. It just, it's, it's healthy to question. We should question everything. And yes, that includes even, you know, our, our guides, because, you know, our guides are something different than our higher self. And, you know, we should question everything. We should. Not questioning has gotten us into this mess. So, I was questioning again last night, um, but I was really up in my head about it. Like, really uh, just letting the ego take over. So, I like what they've they've told me. You know, this is karmic. It is time to break those chains that have been binding humanity and put the devil back on the bottom. It is time for humanity to be sovereign. Blurring. I'm sorry, you guys. You know, be patient, Lori. Uh, be patient. Great change is taking place. Right? Great change. And this is like heavenly. Again, heavenly. You know, like karmic, universal. Everything has its season, right? And they've had theirs, <laughs> apparently, right? So be patient. Great changes taking place. We have miracles occurring. Things are happening fast. Like pay attention, pay more attention, and you'll obviously see them. Stay grounded, Lori. Keep the faith. You know, we're moving into a higher frequency. So, of course, I asked for more because I always do, you know. So, okay, this is, this is looking really good. Tell me a little bit more. So, over here, they're saying to me, you know, there is a light being shown on things. Just like back here, they're saying, you know, pay more attention, Lori. There are things coming in. Look up. And I am paying attention. I, I, I do know. I, I am seeing things. I was just being a pain in their butt last night. And, um, so yeah, I, I am paying attention. I was just being a pain last night. <laughs> so, um, you know, there is a light being shown on things and we're, we're seeing them end. We're seeing that surrendering and there is a light being shown on these prayers, these things that we've been asking for. It is bringing it in. It is bringing in that justice that we've all been praying for, for a long time. This is heavenly, like, again, back with the karma, like, universal, okay? So, 
you know, here we have the lovers. The lovers are being overseen by an angel. Why? Because these guys are soulmates or twin flames, however you want to look at it. And, you know, with these soul uh, contracts, there's often a hump, right? So heaven will oversee things and try to help these people get past this hump so that it, they, so that they can come together. So, you know, again, this is all like going back to this. This is very karmic. Um, it's, it's like everything has its season. So the light is being shown. There, there are things that we can clearly see are having to be surrendered to. Our prayers are being answered. We've been asking for justice and, and what's just for a long time. And so that's coming up and coming in. And this is all being overseen to get us over this hump because it is time for us to be able to come together and walk away from a way of life that did not serve us so that we can move into a more fair. Now, with this knight of, uh, knight, with this king of pentacles, this guy is really abundant, but he's fair. He's fair. So it is time for us to walk away from the chains that have bound us which is what I was asking about. Are we really breaking those chains? You know, and come into this more fair way of being that serves humanity more. So, you know, I mean, they've given me the answer a million times. If you guys have been with me, they've been assuring us that this is happening for quite a long time. And, you know, again, we're being told we do have to be patient. But, yeah, uh, yeah, we're breaking those chains that have bound us. The devil is being put back on the bottom because it's karmic. Humanity is coming into a time where we will be sovereign again. We just need to be patient. Great change has taken place. Again, this is like a universal thing. This is an angel here creating the great change, the alchemy, right? I mean, this is all universal and karmic. To everything has its season, right? And then above that, miracles are occurring. They're occurring every day. Uh, we're blending those those heaven, the heaven with the earth, right? So miracles are occurring. So yeah, this is a fast moving energy. It's happening probably faster than we know. Um, there are things coming in. We just got to look around to see them. We're Stay grounded, stay focused, stay well grounded, but keep that faith. Uh, a higher frequency is happening. There is a light being shown on things uh, that are having to be surrendered to. There's a light being shown on that. There's a light being shown on prayers that are being answered. There's a light being shown on justice. Uh, this is this is again. It's very it's very heavenly. It's it's universal. It's karmic. Um, there's a lot of energy working out there to get us over this hump that we've been living in, these chains that we've been bound to, so that we can walk away from that way of life and move into something that's more fair, more just, uh, and works better for we, the people. So I asked if I read that right. Did I get the message correctly? And I got, yes, I got it. I, I got it very strong get the message the way it was intended so that was a reading that I read last night and I was like my goodness I've got to leave this up on the table so this has been up on the table all night um and I'm going to leave it up on the table and I'm going to share it with the channels because I think this is I think you know I, th I think this is a good message and we and we need to hear I think we often need to be told because you know Men aren't, people aren't, uh, people are unpredictable. People are unpredictable. Things change all the time. Um, people change their minds. Things happen. Circumstances happen. Things happen and things have to be changed. So we've been waiting a long time to see some good things happen. And that's why my ego was kind of gone into overdrive. I wanted to make sure that this was actually good stuff happening and we weren't being duped. You know what I mean? Even though, even though I've seen in my cards a thousand times that we're not being duped, but 
you know, there's the ego. I'm human. So people are unpredictable. It was really good for me to see because of my faith and, and, and how I live, honestly. I put my faith in everything more to source my highest self and um, my guides that are here teaching me than I ever do in anything physical here, right? And so it was good for me to see that this is, again, they're showing us once again that this is way bigger than us. It's way bigger than DJT. It's way bigger than the White Hats. It's way bigger than the Cabal. It's way bigger than we ordinary folks. It's way bigger than that. It is all karmic. I mean, to everything has its season. And these guys, it's, they're meant to be on the bottom. They've had their time. And we're meant to have our moment of thriving. So that was really good for me to see. And then, so this morning, um, I pulled a few more cards this morning. So is there anything more that they want to say, you know, because I'm going to read this. Is there anything else that um, they want to say because I'm going to share this message with the channels? And so, yeah, we got this. We got uh, for right now, you know, take care of your assets. Hold on. Hold on emotionally, hold on mentally, hold on spiritually, right? Hold on to your assets. Something new is happening at the same time that something's ending. And this new happening and these new and these endings right there side by side, it's going to feel really big. So right now because it's going to be a incredibly emotional time, they're just giving us the advice to to hold on. Take it every way it is. Hold on emotionally. Hold the line. Hold on spiritually. Hold on physically. You know, hold on to some things physically that can help you through this incredible emotional time. Hold on to your assets. You know, your money. Um, hold on mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically. Yeah, so take that, take that as good advice. And know that something new is happening right at the same time that something is ending. So it's, it's going to be big. It's like bang, bam, bam, or bang, bang, you know, like, you know what I mean? It's like uh, fireworks when these two things are right there beside each other. It's something new, something ends. It's going to, it's going to feel big. So I asked if I got that right. And I got the, I got the empress, the great healer. So that's the message, and if I've rambled on quite a bit about ego and my own battle with ego sometimes and just needing to step back, it's because I want you guys to understand that in these chaotic times, it's not unusual if you are fighting with your ego a little bit. It's, you know, we're human and that does happen, but catching ourselves and, and being aware of it. Um, goes a long way to our feeling better. So if you catch yourself feeling anxious, if you catch yourself questioning everything uh, and feeling sick and not not feeling good about things, really understand that that's your ego blowing things up. Do Do some centering. Do whatever it takes to help center you back into a more calm state of being. And then go ahead and do your spiritual practices. Like for me last night, it was pulling a few cards. And whenever I get into that place, I mean, I'm always able to uh, redirect in a more positive way. And, you know, that's what we've got to do. We just got to recognize when we're being that way and do whatever it takes to help center us. And for me, it was breathing, connecting. Um, and a quick way for me to recenter was to just sit and pull some cards. I find it very therapeutic. So that's what I did. But you guys do whatever it takes for you guys to feel that way as well. You know what I mean? Self-care, self-care, self-care. It's important. We're living through some crazy times. All right, you guys. So until next time, know that I'm thinking of you all. Know that I'm sending you all many, many blessings and so much love 
and continue to just self-care and know that we've got this, you guys. Be aware of your surroundings. Um, you know, don't get too caught up in things that you don't know. You're not paying attention to your surroundings. Take care of yourselves. Be aware. And, um, you know, hold on mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Because something new is happening right at, right at the time that something is ending. And it's going to feel very big. It's going to feel emotional. And I did get that right with that Empress. Okay, you guys. So until next time, sending you all so much love. Take care.